All right. What's going on, everybody? Copy 801. I'm a little under the weather, but I'm back. Took two weeks off. And uh, here we go again with the DC news. This is going to be two weeks worth of news, people. So sit back and buckle up. All right, so, like I said, this is going to be two weeks' worth of news. Uh, You hear the cat in the background. She's got to go use the litter box. Haven't used the litter box in the past two hours, but you know what? She's doing it now, exactly while I'm recording, which which is how it always works. Yep. There she goes. So... This is going to be in no particular order. Uh, reason why is because I had to compile a lot of different things. I had a lot of screenshots, a lot of stuff through. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? All right. So, <clears throat> second season of Peacemaker. This is going to be happening after Superman Legacy. So, Superman Legacy is coming out first. And then Peacemaker Season 2 is coming out. My theory is that we're going to have some people from Superman cameo in Legacy in uh, Peacemaker. But we will see. We will see. This is pretty. This has been pretty much known, but it's been floating around for the past couple weeks. Uh, we have a second trailer for The Flash, which is dropping April 25th. However, there was a new TV spot that did drop the other day. Um, it gave a little bit more info. It was pretty much the same. Look at it as a condensed version of the trailer that we got. The litter box again. Okay, so. An untitled DC movie, which was slated for September 22nd of this year, has been removed from the release schedule. So... That means we were going to have a movie, uh, but we don't anymore. Now, movie studios do this extremely often. They will, you know, they'll, they'll block out a slot for themselves, even if they don't make the movie. And this is one of those instances where they blocked it out and they didn't make it, which is fine. All right. So this was done today so this is going to be like brand spanking new news someone asked if wb gave notes on uh, you know his production his projects and how did he receive them so this is going to be very huge information james gunn responds with no WB wouldn't be giving notes on a DC Studios production. Since James Gunn came on board, DC Studios is now a separate entity than WB in WB uh, in Warner Brothers Discovery. So, that means that Warner Brothers has no say on what James Gunn does in this aspect, which is huge, which means that he can write his own story without any interference. And that's phenomenal. I like this news. This is news that everyone should be cheering. If you find this and you don't cheer, stop it. I don't know what's wrong with you. Okay, so this is also today. So today is the 80th anniversary of Superman. Uh, Wait, no. 75th? 75th anniversary. My apologies. And James Gunn posted this on his Instagram. And of course, I liked it. The caption reads, I'm honored to be part of the legacy. And what better day than Superman's anniversary day to dive fully into early 
pre-production on Superman Legacy, costumes, production design, and more now up and running. So, full steam ahead for Superman Legacy. And this is today. Very, very short time ago. Uh, we've got a rumor that the Flash director and um, Andy Muschietti is reportedly set to direct the next Justice League film for James Gunn. And the next Justice League film is supposed to be New Frontier. Um, if the Flash does well, this is going to be huge news. I mean, the trailer looks amazing. And I will be extremely happy if everything went well. All right. So, Frank Gorilla is now going to be running the DCU. He was crossbone, but they, uh, they didn't really use the character. So, he's like, you know, screw you. Marvel doesn't use his character. We'll go and head on over to the DCU with James Gunn. <clears throat> and uh, he is set to play Rick Flag in the Creature Commandos. Rick Flag Senior. Let me get that right. So that means we're gonna see him live action. Okay, uh, rumor: Lex Luthor is supposed to appear in DCU's Superman Legacy. And. Uh, Industry insider Jeff Snyder shared that he heard a big time villain will be joining Jason. And like he said, the thing I'm told is that Lois Lane, Jimmy Olsen, and the Luther are all in the movie. And, you know, this all makes sense because it takes place most likely in the chocolate. So, we'll see. All right, we got a full reveal on the cast of the Creature Commandos. And um, here's the thing. I will reveal everyone later on in this video because their handle is not always their name. It's like an acronym sometimes. So uh, we'll put this on pause. And when we get up to it, we'll continue. And this is fun. So James Gunn said that no one has come close to figuring out his main PC plan yet, which is great because we need to. We need to be guessing. You know, like how the MCU, everyone guesses with that. We've got to do the same thing with this. So let's keep it going. James Mangold is writing the Swamp Thing movie for DC. And normally I wouldn't, like, post something like this from Instagram and claim it as fact. But here's the thing. James Gunn put it on his story. So, <laughs> You know, if something comes out and James Gunn puts it on a story, it's like, yep, that's true. Okay. Blue Beetle. The new Blue Beetle movie is going to get rolled into James Gunn's new DCU. So this will be the first installment in the new rebooted DCU. Um, any future sequels depend on the box office performance, as we all know. But first bit of James's new universe is going to be Blue Beetle, and that's pretty cool. You know, start off with a young character. Uh, my question is, is I wonder who else we're going to see in this movie. All right. DC plans on launching a DailyPlanet.com website that covers all their comic book and live action events for fans to keep up with. This was posted on April Fool's Day, and no one took it seriously. And I was like, you know what? Uh, maybe, maybe not. So, before going live with all of you, I need to check it. And I'm going to share the screen and get rid of this overlay and let you know that, yes, Daily Planet is up and running. And, of course, you can start off with Superman Super Twins from War World. We have Super Corp. When Superman, Cool Patrol, and this is pretty freaking cool. So let's click on this. And 
as far as Superman won. Going off of that. And we've got the Super Twins. This is probably Action 1051. Yes. Action 1051. So, big stuff that's coming out is going to be on this website. So, it might be a good idea. You know, bookmark it. You know, that way you can see what's going on. Because they're going to have the, uh, they're going to have the very important stuff there. So, moving on. HBO Max and Discovery Plus are merging into a service called Max, which will cost sixteen dollars a month, and it's not like a lot of money. But all the Discovery content and the HBO Max content, is really good. yes, they the cat's here. Whoop, right. and she's gone. But no, this is a very good. This is a very good deal. Consider it. Okay, here we go. Creature Commandos cast. We have Frank Grillo as Rick Flag Sr. We have Indara Varma as the bridge. Maria Balakova as Elanya Rostovic. Zocha as Nina Mazurki. And we've got David Barbour as Frankenstein, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks like the guy that played freaking Red Guardian in the MCU. It could, I could be totally wrong, but it looks like him. So if it is him, um, I'm very happy because he'll inject some humor into the character, which is funny. Sean Gunn is GI Robot. We've got Alan Tudyk as Dr. Phosphorus and Steve Aggie as Economos. So, all in all, people, good stuff. I like this. Very much like this. Testing looks pretty cool. And the funny thing is that the picture they used for Frank Grillo literally looks like Rick Flagg Sr. from the photo right up here. Just, let's. I like that. I like that very much. Okay, has Jane, has uh, casting director been hired for Superman Legacy? And James Gunn says yes. Got a casting director, folks. Moving forward, uh, this is on if Chris Pratt would play Booster Gold, which is a huge fan cast right now. And he goes, if James thought I was right, then you know that I would have to consider it. So. Pretty much all the Guardians of the Galaxy. We, we, there's heavy rumor that most of those are... Most of the cast from Guardians of the Galaxy is probably going to get rolled over to the DPU. So they're all going to get killed at Guardians 3. But, yeah, if Chris Pratt is Booster Gold, would be a great freaking cast. Okay, this garnered a little bit of news about a week and a half ago. Gene, uh, James Dunn said that there's always a possibility for a crossover between the MCU and the new DCU. But here's the thing. It wouldn't happen until, like, much later on. There's no way in hell that this would happen anytime soon. And according to the Hot Mike podcast, Matthew Vaughn, is rumored to direct the authority. Which again is another good choice. A lot of good choices here. From what I understand, he uh I think he slipped up when he said this. I think he slipped up. But that's fine. We'll see. Alright, second to last we have this where people were saying, Oh, Greg Gustin's gonna be in the Flash movie, he's gonna be in the new Flash, and he's like Nah, I'm not in the movie, guys. <laughs> I I tend to believe him. But, again, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't think he would be in the movie. Because um, it's not in his universe. He has no real reason to be there. But, would I like to see him? Of course I'd like to see him. Grant Gustin was an awesome Flash. Season and the uh, series is coming to an end, so we will uh, we will see what happens during that, and uh, look forward to what he does in the future. And last but not least, we have Vincent D'Onofrio wants to be Swamp Thing, and James Gunn liked the post. 
So, you know, if James, if James likes a post from someone, an actor, whatever it is, at least he's got you on his radar. Or at least he's like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this in mind. How would you all feel if Kingpin was okay? I think I'd be cool with it. I think I'd be cool with it, but that's it, everybody. That's the last video. We've got more coming up. I'm going to record all my videos for the week today. So first up was the DC News. Then we're going to have the new comic book day. Then we're going to have the FOC. No solicitations yet, unfortunately. They're coming out soon, though, because various... Um, various covers for the Night Terrors event that's coming out later this summer have started to circulate. I would say like late last week. So we will see what happens with that. And on that note, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. You know, like, subscribe. I do DC content every week. And a minimum of three videos, you know, I got the news, I got the new comic book thing, the FOC. That way you can tell your shops if you want to order anything. You get a list right here from me. Um, I don't give the ratios because Lunar doesn't have the ratio. But, I mean, if you want me to do a spotlight on some of the cool ratios, just let me know. And I'll take care of you. But, other than that, I wonder what a good day and I will catch you all later. And... Peace.